Hi and welcome to our October 29th preview video of Asian Arts. We're going to start here with this pair of Japanese cloisonne vase by Andu Dubai. Uh, beautiful, you can see the markings to the bottom. I know there's some sort of residue there, but the circular floral pictorial hallmarks are present with these beautiful peach blossom branches. And these are at three to 500 from our Hollis Queens estate. This is a Japanese Satsumo Kinkozan vase at 1,000 to 1,500. So you can see here the beautiful enamel work and these figural scenes. Two individually lotted Japanese boxes. So this is a Tengu mask and actually um, the same box is available for viewing at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. So that's nice, it's at three to 500. And very similar, this is a Hanyai mask, also Japanese. And if you look on the bottom, there is a marking in the corner here. Um, really nice, I love both of these both at three to 500. This is a 17th century bronze mounted Wukai vase. So with the floral decoration and the bronze mounts. Very nice, this is from our Hollis Queens estate. This is a high relief enamel decorated vase. You can see the signature to the underside. Um, and this is at three to 500. Asian uh, lychee enamel decorated mounted box. So nice wooden box with these lychee on top. Really quite nice. Uh, Korean water dropper. So this is an enamel decorated water dropper from Korea. Really quite nice again from one of our walk and Wednesday appraisal days at three to 500. Um, this is a gilt Buddha or a Shakyamuni Buddha. And this is at four to 600. Take a look at the underside here. Really nice quality, wonderful from our Hollis estate. Grooming of Japanese. So some Japanese Satsuma and then this Japanese basket. This is one of several items in a group lot, but it, this is a uh, Kangji Chinese. Um, and you can see the bird decoration here and the flowers with the signature verso and you can see this nice leaf design. Um, the signatures here, um, there is some sort of repair to the spout and the mouth of this vase. This is absolutely beautiful with this the vibrant enamel work to the color colored enamel work, I'm sorry. Um, this floral decoration on this blue ground, these masked handles with the rings. Um, take a look at the underside here. Really quite nice. Came in at 600 to 900, which I think is a, quite a conservative estimate for this piece. Um, this is two pieces of Chinese graffito, enamel work, um, nice floral decoration to this yellow ground. And both of these pieces came from the Roosevelt estate. Another piece of Japanese satsuma in the sale is this cabinet vase, but this is by the very desirable artist Yabu Maizan. So you can see on the top there's sort of um, a parade or figures marching and then a landscape scene with water and boats to the underside and then here's the signature to the bottom. So really a beautiful example of Maizan's work. So this is a porcelain and cloisonne totai trivet. I'm just going to lift it up here so that you can really see the enamel work. Um, and then you can see these nice little bun of feet and then the signature to the underside. Grouping of Chinese porcelain. So that we have this pair of Chinese Bami Rose uh, bowls. So this is Millefiori bowls and then a signature to the underside and each comes with this carved wood stand. And then they're also accompanied by this bowl. So this is a nice Bami Rose bowl. You can see this, the six character marked the underside. Also from Hollis Queens. Another from our Hollis estate, this is a, just a miscellaneous grouping. So this is a really quite nice bowl. Um, you can see the signature. There is a repair to this, this portion of the edge here. Um, two diminutive Wukai vases um, or lidded jars, this little green vase, blue and white. This is quite nice and then it has the blue double ring marked to the underside and then an enamel decorated silver snuff bottle. This I love, I think it's so attractive. So this is Rooster's Fami Rose Chinese, um, signature to the underside, comes with a fitted stand at three to 500. So this is a three color enamel decorated Chinese. You can see the incised mark and it's green, blue, yellow, and aubergine. So actually it's four colors, I apologize. Um, and then there's ducks and flowers to the interior. And moving on to this fantastic collection of snuff bottles, also from our Hollis Queens estate. We're going to start here with this amber snuff bottle. 
So just, I mean, this color, the colors of this are just outstanding. Um, just the color variations and this kind of organic, well, what is really an organic design. And when the, this amethyst stopper. This is Sisu School. So it's agate, and you can see how they've utilized the um, natural inclusions to make this boat with figures. And then on the alternative side, there's, a, there's additional figures in a boat. But it's also on this beautiful necklace of carved beads with an interior black band. Really quite nice at two to three thousand. One of our groupings of snuff bottles, so these are all carved crystal or glass. Um, so we have reverse painted. Here's a double snuff bottle. Um, this is a quartz bottle. So you can see that they've utilized the, again, the inclusions to make these designs, which I love when they do that. This one I think is really just sweet. And these are all together. So these are individually lotted. And both of these are from the Yi Zong San School. So this is a rutilated quartz bottle. Um, and then it's also reverse painted. So you can see these natural inclusions are these black lines, but they've made it so that there's koi fish and seaweed or um, foliate design to the interior. So this is at six to 900. And this is also Yi Zong Sane School. So again, this is a quartz bottle and they've reverse painted or interior painted this bottle. And you can see that there's a signature to each. So there's one there and then there's one to this corner here. Really quite nice little miscellaneous grouping. So we have this kind of uh, probably quartz, but it's got this incised decoration of bamboo, um, this kind of archaic carved stone, and then this carved stone bottle with grape clusters. This is yellow and russet jade snuff bottle, 19th century. You can see this figure here, really quite nice. All of these are so nice to see. There's the collection all together. Um, this is all, this is agate with applied stone. So there's carnelian, amethyst, malachite, etc. And on the reverse, there's some lapis, but this floral decoration is really so sweet. And this is at two to 300. Another yellow and russet jade, but you can see here there's a cat or a tiger. And here is this natural inclusion of russet skin. Um, and then an additional decoration here. Here we have this agate bottle. So really quite nice, it's shadow agate. They've utilized this inclusion here to make a design, which I love. Um, another yellow jade and russet skin. So again, the inclusions have been utilized so nicely. Look at this guy here, really so sweet. Please look at the photos online um, so that you can see all the detailed shots. Here's white jade. Here's another jade. So really a, a beautiful collection. Here we have this agate bottle. So this is a pebble. This style of snuff bottle is called a pebble. Um, and then here's a jade example. So this pebble russet and, and white jade with the carved coral stopper. Let's see this one, I'm just gonna move this. Um, so again, this is a shadow agate bottle. And you can see the inclusion, how they utilized it. Look at this, a rooster or a chicken. Really quite nice, again, shadow agate. So we have a white jade bottle and a black jade bottle. So with these characters. Um, and so then all of these carved agate pendants, they're all lotted individually and they are all Sisu school. This one, however, is signed. So you can see the signature here. And there's pomegranates with a frog. And here's the underside with a butterfly. So again, Sisu school all lotted individually. Insects, nice carvings, really beautiful examples. Um, let's see, did we see this one? So again, this is a shadow wagon. They've made a horse out of this inclusion and a horse on the other side as well on this little carved wood stand. Um, here we have a highly carved uh, white jade pendant and there's a, I believe it's a deer or an animal among this foliate design, but you can see how intricately carved it is. And then on the reverse also. White jade, unusual form. Really quite pretty though. Carved stone. There's actually a bat here and then this little um, coral stopper. So it's a bat holding a ribbon, but it's a really beautiful, beautiful example. 
Chinese Fami Rose figural snuff bottle. So a little man with a vase on his back. Two amber snuff bottles. So if we can just look up into the light so you can kind of see the translucency to this. So really quite beautiful. You can see the butterfly there. And then another larger example here. So we here have a carved jade um, gourd bottle. And you can see the stopper here with the russet skin plotted individually. Um, jump back to this grouping. So this is silver and shell, and it's inlaid with lapis, coral, malachite, and sandstone. Um, this one is silver tone. And then we have this beautiful emerald green glass bottle with this gilt decoration. Really quite lovely. Another grouping, so we have turquoise, amber. Um, this is kind of just a, a carved stone. And then this is just beautiful. This is mother of pearl. So you can just see how the light interacts with this, and it's just lovely. Agate bottles. This one's really nice. So there's multiple bugs if you look at the scene here. So there's just a little gathering of bugs, which I like. Another agate, and then this is a just a beautiful utilization of the skin. So they've carved it into two deer with this pine tree, and then a figure on the back. Peking glass. Um, this is probably the nicest example of the green and pink but so many different color variations and just different examples here. And these are all grouped together. So we have red, blue, et cetera. Um, really nice. So take a look at the photos of these. Um, this is a grouping of porcelain snuff bottles. So we have this large or oversized snuff bottle with dragons, um, some figures, some hawks. Um, this is a vase and this is um, Junior Hour, maybe it's Sung de Boeuf. Um, a Cafe au Lot. Here's one with a crab, or two or several crabs, dragons, etc. More, more carved stones. So we have carnelian, we have banded agate, this is rose quartz, carnelian, amethyst, this carved jade um, pendant. So this fruit form pendant. Um, these two pieces are together. So we have this large jade um, dragon form belt buckle with this keelin, and then we have also this um, enamel decorated cabbage with the dragon belt buckle. So this is ex Roosevelt estate um, and this is a beautiful jade bowl with handle so you can just see the beautiful decoration and there is a label to the underside from the estate. So really quite nice at 1000 and 1500 Here we have a grouping of jade and agate. So again these are probably Sisu school, another dragon belt buckle. Um, this is a nice uh, jade pendant, a fruit form pendant. Um, Moving on, this is one of the stars of the show. So this is a carved jade figure of a man. Um, and he's just so beautifully done, a really nice example of a robed figure. Carved agate pendant. So this cylindrical pendant with a key lin. Um, and you can see there's a hole in the underside and then a pendant hole in the top. Three to 500. A banded agate grouping. Um, again, I just love the color variations. Really beautiful examples. Just I love this, this white dot and these bands. Um, a grouping of porcelain snuff bottles. Um, here we have a large grouping of snuff bottles, so a whole miscellaneous grouping. So we have a mouse on a grape cluster, um, Fami Rose, Cinnabar style, Amber style, etc. Um, now we're gonna move on to some contemporary Japanese prints. Um, so from one estate, we have these two, and these are by Toko Shinoda, and this one to in my hand here is called Inception, and this is called Hihaku. And these are each estimated at 400 to 600 individually. And this print here just came in yesterday. It actually hasn't been inventoried yet. And this is by Ryoshi Tanaka. And there are one of two of these in the sale. So a late edition, um, but really quite nice. We're glad to have it. And this is one of two. And also just in yesterday, this is a Judenchiro Sekimo, a Japanese woodblock print and really quite nice, nice contemporary feel to it. Um, and this is in at four to 600. And then here's a grouping of three together. So these are from the same estate as our um, Toko Shinodas. And this is Hiroyuki Tahima. And I'll just 
kind of flip through them for you to see. And these three to get, are together at three to 500. So you can see the nice color work, um, nice texture to these, and all three are together. And then to wrap it up for the Asian, we're gonna end here with this Japanese um, vase. So really quite nice with these figural handles, um, kind of an archaic design, really a nice size with this big oversized rim. And this is at four to 600. Um, and then a sneak preview for our November 20th auction. You can see here, these just came in this morning. Um, so this one is by Chuang Che from 1966, and it's a mixed media on paper with an estimate of 1,000 to 1,500. Um, and then here we have this Liu Ku Song, and this is a ink and watercolor on paper, so you can see a great large size. And the title of this one is The Shadow of Cloud, and this is also from the 60s, and this is estimated conservatively at 10 to 15,000. And both of these two pieces are for our November 20th auction, but we hope to see you on October 29th for our beautiful snuff bottle collection and other Asian arts.